Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back uh, to A Modern Recommends. I'm Ruth Crilly, if you haven't watched before. This is my channel, and this is Nadine, who is just gate crashing, basically. She's in my house! I am She's in her gate house. She's gatecrashing. Uh, if you don't follow Nadine, then her channel is linked below, and we have done our makeup best buys for under £20 yep. over on her channel, so you need to watch both videos in tandem. Not in tandem, that'd be ridiculous. <laughs> one on the telly, one on your laptop. But you need to watch one after the other. So make sure you go and do that because the makeup goodies are are brilliant buys, aren't they? I feel I like the most expensive thing I mentioned was a lipstick, but most of them are under ten pounds. Yeah, They're brilliant. Really In fact, good. I think we could have done this video pretty much under ten pounds as well, or around ten pounds. So these yeah. are our skincare best buys. Under £20. Nadine has decades of experience as a beauty editor in the beauty industry and budget skincare is pretty much your area of expertise, I'm isn't it? I'm passionate about yeah. finding really good budget skincare because I feel that in the last three or four years that whole budget market has got better than ever. So, so this is the ordinary squalane cleanser? Yes. No sharks hurt. <laughs> only <laughs> olives only olives it comes from only olives. olives and it's just a really beautiful sort creamy, of cream gel cleanser yeah yeah gets everything off it's so so cheap also it's so moisturizing i mean it's like i feel like you know sometimes when um kids or adults have eczema and they give them the moisturizing cream to cleanse with yes i almost feel like this is that moisturizing but it's not, it's a proper cleanser, it's going to get everything off. Okay, so I've got a cleanser. I've got a gel cleanser, but it's a it's a, it's a makeup, makeup melting cleanser, and I really like it. And this is the Curel Makeup Cleansing Gel, and I really like it. This How is now available is at Boots. One? Yeah, I've seen this brand, and I have got that at home. I just haven't got around to... To sort of testing it out properly yet, and it so so it goes oh, on. It's a gel. So it goes on as a gel, and you automatically think that it's going to foam up and it's going to be dehydrating. Mm. But it's quite thick. Feel that. Stick your finger in that. <laughs> it's quite thick and quite almost gel oily. It's Lube really nice. Almost lubricant like. It's almost lube like. <laughs> I had a dream last night when I was thinking of the things I, I was going to bring with me to feature. Um, I had a dream that we started talking about lube. And now Always. we're talking about Lou. I know. Uh, it's really lovely. It's non-foaming. It just turns to milk uh, when you rinse it away and it's beautiful. The entire range is really nice. It's ceramide and glycerin based. So two really good options for dry skin or any skin actually. I would use that one in the morning and that one at night to remove makeup, but they both remove makeup. I would use Team Mine obviously with my microfiber cloth from Primark, pack of three. My next thing, we're doing four things each, aren't we? Yes. My next thing, I've been using, I'm on my second one of these, the Collagen Booster from the Inky List. I think it's about seven or eight quid. All their products are so oh, reasonable. It's so price. good. I, I think I like it more than the Hyaluronic Acid. I find that Why? whatever, I don't know, I just find that whatever I mix this with or put it on underneath, it almost forms this really bouncy treatment. It's just got this ability to transform whatever you put on after it into, it's just the texture of it becomes so nice. I feel like it supercharges stuff. It, to me, it feels like a really nice multi-molecular hyaluronic acid, but I presume it's got loads of peptides in, right? I think so. Just Hold so on, so. let me get the ingredients. Oh. Mm. Oh. I tell you why I think you like that, because I think you're really busy in the morning. I feel like that is a hyaluronic acid stroke glycerin stroke Peptide oil. Oh, it's Matrixyl 3000. There you go. Peptide. Yeah. Yeah. To support the skin's firmness and the elasticity to promote a plumper, smoother appearance, and that is exactly, if I hadn't read that, how I would describe what I feel like it does. So I just think, for that price, under a tenner. How long does that last you? If you use that every day. It's lasted me ages because it's so it. liquid. I really don't use very much at all. Actually, when you tip it out, loads comes out, so you have to just sort of no, really... No, I did shake it in it. So you have to really sort of, you know, that Tiny much, amounts, yeah. and then that will pretty much do my whole face. Oh, it's just so nice, even just when you put it on your hands. It is really lovely. Just do, that will do my whole face, and then straight on with moisturiser. People always say to me, what should I use with derma rollering? And I always say, use a really good peptide. That would be a great Ooh, peptide to use okay. with derma rollering. Really good, really good. Um, I'm going to uh, mention a hyaluronic acid that I've been using for ages, and I've talked about so many times. If you follow me, you'll already know this fast forward but if you don't i really love had a lava this is 16 pounds off amazon but it's going into superdrug is it 
I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say anything. But it's going I into might Superdrug. have to edit that out, Nadine. No, I think it is going. I think we're allowed to say it's going. Trouble. I think we're allowed to say it's going into Superdrug. Uh, so it'll be in Superdrug imminently, which means that you will no longer have to go online, buy it from Amazon, all those places. It's the English American language version of the cult Japanese ones, and it's just brilliant. £150 150 mil, though. Well, what's wrong with that? It's huge. Yeah. So I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Such a it's, great it's molecular hyaluronic but acid. You would, you would expect to get a body product in something that big, wouldn't you? Yes. I mean, what skincare do you, apart from cleansers, do you ever get in such a huge bottle? I've got the one, uh, the a friend one. of mine, Lisa, she's a makeup artist, she gave me um, the one with retinol in. Really so the lovely. one I've got is just low level retinol. Yes. So use it at It's a low level at retinol will. precursor, so it's fine, yeah. Absolutely, don't worry about it. Marvellous. Well, I like my one. I haven't tried the plain one. But I shall. Try, I mean, I don't think you'll notice, in the short term, I don't think you'll notice any difference between the two. I really like oh, them. Oh, really? In okay. fact, I'll be really honest and say that there isn't a single product in that range that I don't like. The moisturisers are really nice. The blue moisturiser at night is lovely. Your skin's oh, feeling cool. a bit dry. You need to get cracking on those, Nadine. I'm going to go for, oh, do you know what? I'm just going to do my last two because they're linked. Okay, go on. So I've been doing a really intense retinol thing recently. And my skin has felt... With Medicaid. With the Medicaid. Watch this video, it's really good. But so many people then slid into my DMs going, is it as good as Ruth says it is? And I went, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of the opposite of this video, because this video is all the cheapest yeah. things on the market, and this is mega expensive. But, but I think so this good. is really interesting, because I think what we're saying here is the things you can save money on are really good moisturisers, really good cleansers, really good hyaluronic acids. And then the two things that I would spend money on are a retinol or a vitamin C, although I've got budget vitamin C coming up. Go yeah. On. Has our retinol it been making you peel? No, because I've been using it once every three or four nights. Okay. I've been going really easy on it. However, my skin has felt, you know when you just know something could just tip it over the edge? And you're that. just, yeah, and it's just a little bit, you know, a bit itchy and irritable. So in between, I've been cracking out all of my soothing yeah. stuff and creams. Um, this Straight one I featured that. in that video. This is the Tolerian fluid from... La Roche-Posay. I've mentioned those products so much. I bore They're myself so hearing myself say the name now. But you got me addicted to them. I came to your house yeah. about 16 months ago and fell in love with them. It's really fluid, as it says. Um, Oil-free, but really hydrating. And it comes in three separate formulations. There's a light yeah. one, a medium one, and a rich one. They're brilliant. If you've got sensitive skin, you've got dry skin, if you worry what you're going to use if you're a guy, they're brilliant. Oh, and also, I think, you know, people that have got skin that's really spot prone, sort of bumpy, angry, even you might have acne or be, you, you know, using Uracten and you don't want to use something, they're scared of using something that's oily mm -hmm. to get the hydration the in. The fluid is brilliant. The fluid is amazing. There is just no oil, you won't feel any greasiness, but it just somehow gets it in there. So I think that's amazing. And it's about 15 quid, but essential always do. Um, they're online, there's a... They always have codes, don't they? They have codes, yeah. Uh, I always say La Roche-Posay is my go-to if you've got any skin issues at all. Yeah. yeah. And then the other one, um, the aloe cream from the body oh, shop. I don't know this one. So I don't tend to use pots of stuff so much now. No, neither do I. Because it goes down my nails and it gets on my nerves. But this one, I just like it. It's just soothing, it's very Ooh, really plain. rich. Yeah, but it's a step up. So if I wasn't going to use this and I felt, no, I need something a bit extra, sometimes I even layer this as like a super serum. Yeah. So rather than using a serum, I layer up a lighter fluid moisturiser and then the richer moisturiser on top. It depends how dry I am. But the retinol does make me loads drier. That's on fragrance, that. I really like mm. that. It's good. So it's the Body Shop Aloe Soothing Day Cream. Oh, yeah, I like it for but sensitive skin. There's no reason you can't use it at night. I don't know why it's a day cream. It, it doesn't matter. It's just a cream, yeah. day or night, like this one, I think. I agree. Really nice. So two really nice options if your face feels like it's falling off. And I'll do my final two, which are miniature ones. So I've got a simple calming moisturiser. Oh, I like that packaging. So nice. It's really sweet. Again, you'll really like this. I would put this in the Tellerian fluid kind of category. Uh, oh, no, it's slightly richer. Uh, but I really like it. I think it's quite light, lightweight. Sort Lovely. Of fluidy, lightweight, yeah. unscented. And that's, what, that's a mini one? Yeah. Or is that... That's the 50 mil. It does come in a larger size. 50 mil is size. still massive. But that's perfect for travelling. That that's when I though? first discovered that, yeah. Wow, but 50 mil is, is, is normal. That's what you would get in... I mean, that's... What's that? 50 mil. And that's their full size. I would say 50 mil is a normal... You know, if you bought a Clinique moisturiser, it'd be 50 mil, wouldn't oh, yeah, it? Yeah, because that's 40 mil, look. Yeah. 
just the package. Anyway, so big. I really like it. I think what they're doing is really interesting. I think the really cute little packaging is really simple, really easy, really simple, easy to understand. Don't expect any great actives from it. It's just really nice, easy, don't have to think about it, moisturizers. And I think the thing about moisturizers is they should simply moisturize. You should look for your actives elsewhere. Now, talking of actives, oh, look at this. I meant to like Eucerin on my channel. This is the Eucerin Fresh Press Vitamin C, but it's not Ooh. called Fresh Press Vitamin C. It's called Hyaluron Filler Vitamin C. And I found out the other day that they were developing it exactly the same time as Clinique and Clinique built, beat them to it. Uh, so, so what you do is you get a little pack of them. You can buy them in certain amounts of days to use. And the reason that it's pure vitamin C is because you push the bottom. Let me push the bottom. So it's there. powder. <gasps> was the money shot <laughs> and then it mixes it in and then the vitamin c goes into it but you've got to use it within a few days okay that was literally the soft porn money shot wasn't it i am or gonna, the hard porn i'm gonna shot. slow that down <laughs> <laughs> it'd be great if it had gone onto the camera lens wouldn't it Sloof. such a great product so reasonably priced they're bringing out hyaluronic acid uh, imminently as well so basically the, the foil comes off the bottom, you push it, it mixes it straight away. Have you and just then it's mixed ready that one? Use. Yes. Uh, okay. ready to use. So fresh pressed, slightly, is so it slightly it's different price point? Uh, yes, I think that's about, I think that's just, uh, that's 15 99 I think that one. Uh, it comes in a group of three. Lid right back on. Is this the right lid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the expertise oh on this channel. Um, uh, I just think Eucerin are doing interesting things in skincare. Watch out. Don't dismiss them. All of these... Why would you dismiss them? Because I sometimes think people think that the old school brands aren't that high tech and they look for Eucerin new... Eucerin is so high tech. They look I for look new Eucerin. and exciting. And I just think all of these things, even the ordinary now... So Inky List is in Boots. And yep. Super... So and Cult Beauty. And Cult Beauty. Eucerin is in Boots. Uh, Had a Lava's going into Superdrug. Curel's in Boots. Simple's in Boots and Superdrug. They're our high street, by the way, if you're not watching this in the UK, they're our high street drug stores. They're just available everywhere. Yeah. The best aisle in Boots. Can I just say as well that Eucerin do one of the only eye creams, dedicated eye creams with SPF that I like. Yes, they do. It's, it's a great such product. a good eye cream. They're highly on filler, really isn't it? Eye yeah. cream. Yeah. Their SPFs are really good full stop. And it doesn't go into your eye, the hyaluron filler as well. It's been formulated yeah. so that it doesn't migrate into and your And it's eyes. really rich and lovely. And mm. anyway, that's another one. I don't know whether that's under £20. So well, do you know what's interesting? I chose this one because this one was, but actually most of the products are sitting around the 20, 25 pounds mark, but they're all really great products. Okay. All right. Now make sure you go and watch the makeup pics over on Nadine's channel. Yeah. I've got to now go and edit out all of our rude comments and swearing. We've got, we've basically, what we've got to do now is we've got to edit out all mentions of penises, <laughs> money <Come>. shops. <laughs> yeah. That's noob. Sorry about oh. that. Or we could just leave them in. Yeah. Make our lives easier. See you next time. Bye.